Hi, I'm Gina Marantini from Hayward, California, sitting here with Pastor Willie Anderson. And we will be here on Sunday, September 11th at 10 yes, a.m. Yes, 1004 B Street, Image Changers Church. Right here in Hayward. We are going to have so much fun. We want everyone to join us. Um, Pastor, I have another question for you. So with the way that our country is right now, with divide and conquer um, communities, culturally, racially, um, social, economically, what do you think um, is missing most in the discussions that we have here in our communities about race in America? I, I think that's a good question. I know that's a good question. I think it's something that all of us uh, who are people of conscience uh, are concerned about. Uh, we can't deny that the evolution of America, that, that race has always played a role. Uh, that is not something that we're just interjecting now. It's always uh, been a part uh, of the fabric of America. And even at times when we want to deny that, and certain communities want to deny the influence of race and uh, race relations, uh, to deny that this country at one time that belonged to a different or indigenous people, and, and as a result, that those indigenous people were overwhelmed by another majority group, deny the fact that African Americans or Africans, uh, the original African Americans were Africans who were not Americans, who, who didn't immigrate here, who were brought here, right. and then uh, their uh, labor, uh, they were not the beneficiaries of, their labor went uh, to uh, build uh, wealth for those who exploited them for their own purposes. And, uh, and it's that wealth and, and that labor and, that, and race that has been the crux uh, of America's emergence. And now, as we continue to evolve through the decades and through civil rights, uh, economic rights, all these dynamics uh, have happened with race being the core, Civil Rights Act and the Voting Rights Act, all of these things. And to get to this point now, where, well, we're integrated post-racial culture. Right. No, we've never fully addressed this issue. and. And, it shows and, today. Yeah, well, again, uh, we've had incidents, of course, again, with these unarmed African-American uh, gentlemen that uh, who were killed in police issues, and now the media making it more of an issue, well, we have drawing people, more attention right, to we it. We have people going out and killing police officers Oh, very, yeah, very much so. And, and one thing doesn't, it won't want to conflate the two. Exactly. Because uh, we had, of course, a year ago, you had Dylan Roos, the young man that went into a church in Charleston, South so Carolina, they, uh, of course, and shot nine uh, worshipers who were African American, and these worshipers even invited this white gentleman, young man, into their worship. To fellowship. And 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 he used that occasion to kill them, slaughter them, and uh, and then more importantly, after or as importantly after that, that that community, the faith community, came together and said, "We those families." Uh, show such courage and such strength. They taught us as a nation and said uh, they prayed for him and then you didn't see riots in the streets there, but they prayed and they set an example. So, so race has always been a part of the country and part of our emergence. However, it cannot just be something that we talk about in back rooms. And now the covers have been pulled back because of these, these more prominent incidents and of course, with the emergence of Black Lives Matter and, uh, and, and, and making uh, inroads, uh, even in this political season. And now people who didn't want to discuss this issue, people who didn't want to deny this issue, now are confronted with it. And the issue is, what do we do now? And I believe the church has to play a pivotal role. Uh, even Galatians tells us this. Galatians, the letter uh, written by Paul to the church at Galatia, where he said to them, there's new, neither Jew nor Greek, bond nor free, male or female, for we are all one in Christ. To denounce this whole idea uh, that there's a su superior race, more than, or, or, or a, a race that's better than all of us. There's one race, it's called the human race. And Amen. we are all one, and we can, allow us, our, ourselves to be fooled in thinking that one is better than the other. We're building walls, whether than bridges, <laughs> and, yeah. and we're trying to keep certain people out. Why? Because we think we're better than. The issue is us working together, Absolutely. all right? And the church, and Image Changes Church, that's what our vision is, is to, yes, be strong, share the truth, understand the the statistic, the, the proportionality, even of African Americans locked up, incarcerated, black and brown, you know, being arrested. These are important issues 
for us to grapple with, but not just to grapple with uh, in isolation, but to then lift them so that people who are unaware, who may be ignorant because of uh, because they're unaware, or media. yes, been told propaganda and believed it, that they could get the truth so we can work together. So the church has to play a pivotal role in this. And Image Changes Church, uh, again, it's the ministry here, East Bay, we're coming to play a role, lift these heavy topics, challenge us as people of faith so that we can leave the walls and make a difference in the community. And bring all colors together to make a change. Much so. Join us. Gina Rancy sitting here with Pastor William Anderson from Image Changes Church. Check out clip number four.